welcome back. Joining us is Mr. Jonathan Bertrand, and we're talking about the social networking effect. What's your story? And um, he bought us this cool shirt. It all started. It started. Um, all started with a hashtag. So, um, what is the social networking effect? And um, give us a little bit about your background. Yeah. Well, first, um, I started this project, The Social Networking Effect, What's Your Story, in 2010. And it's a movement to promote social media awareness among the masses. And over time, I realized that I myself was going through the phases of the social networking effect, um, directly and indirectly. And I realized that it not only affected me, but it affected those around me. And I started in my freshman year of high school, and I am now a sophomore in college. Okay. And it's interesting to see the process of how social media not only affected communications among teenagers, adults, and even the younger ones. And I'm trying to highlight those things that it's important to spread awareness about those things because they, first, they don't watch what they post. Secondly, they think that I'm invincible and I can just do anything I want. And third, I want to show that it does cause mental health issues. Okay. And I myself have been through that, and that was the cause for me creating this when I went to a facility because I was addicted to social media, and they looked at me like, what? Is that possible? Yeah, is that possible? And I said, yes, it is. And they're like, no, you're paranoid. No, you're, it's, it's the substances you've been using. No, it's your schizophrenia. And I was like, no, it's not. It's the social media. It was the onset of that. And mm -hmm. from that, I created this project, and I've reached 12 different countries. And just to see the kind of outreach I've gotten in over a year, it's amazing. And we're happy to have you because this is your first time really speaking publicly about your project. Yes, it is. And you mentioned you've reached 12 different countries. Is there a target population you have in ages or is this just, is this for everyone? It's for everyone. It has no age, it has no race, and it also has, you know, everything that you want in it. And that's the beauty of this project. It can connect to anyone, anywhere, any language. And I started this ground base, but to see it growing, to see the kind of cultures I'm reaching, seeing the kind of ages I'm reaching, from elementary school all the way down to the doc doctorate, um, you know, <laughs> person. A variety of yes. people. And um, earlier we were talking about Molly and Flocka mm -hmm. and all uh, the different ways that you've heard about it. And so yes. I'm sure social media is another, is another area. Um, yes. Could your project be used to raise awareness regarding um, drug addiction, drug, um, or any of those things, mental health, as you, as yes. you stated earlier? Um, yes, it can. And that was also one of the reasons why I started this, too, because I realized that the social media platform can reach millions of people in a click of a button. And I tell people, if I can touch one person, I can touch many. So Flocka and Molly, of course, are now the new, you know, the new norms, Flocka itself. And I myself have found out through social media what that really was. And I know with this project, it can venture into many different things. And that's the whole goal of this. And um, where can people learn more about the social networking effect? What's your story? People can learn more at the social networking effect.com or they can go to Facebook and type in the social networking effect or Instagram, the social networking effect hashtag. So it's all over social media, <laughs> everywhere yes. that they, they can find it. Is there anything else briefly that you'd like to just share with us about this project or? Mm -hmm. um, and one thing I would like to say is, is that I would like the viewers that are viewing me today um, to understand that social media is a everlasting thing. It's powerful. Very powerful. And if you use it the right way, you can connect to people from all over the world. You can create opportunities for yourself that now people think you have to go to college for. Of course you do to get certain degrees, but you can use social media to advance the process. And with this project, I myself have done that. And of course you gotta lead by example. So when you check out the website, when you check out the social media accounts, you will see what I'm talking about and that you can connect to anyone and you can also impact people positively, not negatively. Awesome. And so the, the purpose is to impact people in a positive and powerful way. And we're so glad that you shared this information with us and that you came and allowed us to be the first ones that yes. you spoke with about this. So we're so grateful for that, Jonathan. And Thank you. we hope um, that this will reach everyone and, and that people will check out the project. It will.